Welcome to Contextual Electronics. My name is Chris Gamble. Today we're going to be going over a small addendum to what I already showed when you import the actual outline of a uh, the edge cuts of a uh, design. But we showed it as just pulling it into the uh, to the actual end design, the end layout itself. We didn't actually make a footprint out of it. And my friend uh, Twinkle Twinkie over in the uh, Badge Life group, uh, he showed me a, a trick here. So let's take a look here. First things first, this is what we did last time. So we actually made this outline. So if you remember, if we just show, uh, uh, let's see, just the edge cuts here, I guess. Um, uh, hide all copper layers, but active. Well, I guess that's not just copper, but anyways. Um, let's see, hide all layers, there we go. And this, this is what we did last time. So we actually made this into uh, a graphics drawing instead of, and so there's, there's actually all these segments here. And so this is just pulled directly into the layout itself. But if we go into the, uh, into the footprints here, we can actually, what we can do is we can pull, we can do the same process, but we can solidify it as a uh, actual footprint. And this is useful because of, like I, like I said in that last video, you, you might not be able to center it in the exact same place, but being able to drop it the same way each time is really nice. And uh, being able to replicate things is really good as well because, uh, I don't know about you, but I've definitely had a layout where I'm you know, working with it and I'm doing something and by accident I just delete a layer. You've seen, you know, as I select things, uh, you know, as I select things in, in, in the layout, sometimes you just select the wrong thing. So you might select a ground plane or a uh, outline or just a different layer than you want to. You delete it by accident and it goes away. Uh, this is a great way to kind of pull it back in. So let's see here. Okay, so oh, I, got a, I got a footprint uh, library error here, but I should be able to pull up the library now. There we go. So we're gonna go to the NAC uh, library. And let's do a new footprint, and we'll call this test outline. Okay, and now we're gonna do the same thing that we did last time, and we're gonna actually uh, import outlines from DXF or SVG file. So this is the same thing that exists here, and we're gonna that should be good. Okay, and we're gonna try and put it in the same place. Now it's not gonna be exactly centered like the other ones are but we'll give it a shot. And so now this is now an outline that we should be able to pull in from, uh, so we can go and delete the outline we, we directly brought into here. And now we can drop in an, uh, a footprint and say NAC, and we'll do test outline. And now the same thing happened. Uh, let me turn on these other layers. Let's turn on all layers, show all layers, okay. And the other nice thing is that when we move it, so you remember from last time as well, when I moved it, I had to select and drag each individual segment, right? And now I can move it all as one piece. And if you know it's gonna be fixed for good, then that's actually really useful because now you don't have to select everything. You can just kind of pull this entire footprint in. So that's just a small tip there. Thanks to Twinkle Twinkie for, uh, for showing me that. Oh, here's actually Twinkle Twinkie's page. Let me do that. So he does great, great designs uh, for artwork and stuff like that for Badge Life. Um, so uh, that's a nice little tip there for being able to have your outlines as a, as a footprint. Um, like I said, they're still made. You can go and edit. You can still edit the footprint itself and change the segments around as you need to. But when you actually pull it into your design, it'll actually be one contiguous piece, which is really nice. So that's all for now. We'll have more videos about footprints, artwork, and layout here on Contextual Electronics. Thanks for watching.